Hello everyone, I'm Ms. K. Pavitra. I'm working in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are discussing about the subject name is fiction. Um, just convey the what is the importance of fiction in English literature. The prose, already you know very well, pro prose is a long narrative type. The prose works of the Elizabethan age fall into the two categories. The first one fiction, the second one is non-fiction. And just clearly convey the fiction. The fiction of the age of uh, Elizabeth is generally romantic in nature in the sense that is uh, one of the kind of romance. Yeah, of course, it's really wonderful genre in English literature. Uh, next, um, just convey to the first unit title, The Vicar of Fackwill is written by Oliver Goldsmith. Next, I'm just convey to the author biography. Initially, we should thinking about Oliver Goldsmith as both author and poet who wrote the variety of genre and forms during his lifetime. Um, we will be paying some attention to some of his poetry and uh, his novel law. Uh, the most important place, Sea Stoops to Conquer. It was published in 1773. And uh, there is not too much of evidence as to Goldsmith's life. So we know that he was an Irish stockman. He was born in 10th November 1728. He died in 4th April 1774. And Anglo-Irish novelist, playwright, dramatist, poet. Um, next, the first unit, the Vicar of Vacville. The Vicar is a protagonist name. Uh, Vacville is a place name. It was published in 1761 and 1762. Uh, already, you know, very well, it's one of the famous work in Oliver Goldsmith. At the same time, 18th century English, uh, widely read 18th century English novels. It's really wonderful, a wonderful novel. Um, and next, and just all, uh, just convey to the, it's one of the sentimental novel. Uh, as a writer, he also mentioned to the, thematical elements and 32 chapters in this play uh, next uh, what is the important theme of this play so religion and family religion is a obviously an important theme in this novel is really wonderful as a protagonist he he want to believe in religion way so that's one of the uh, real life relationship human and god and next family yes of course family is very important in our life as a protagonist he love his family and next i'm just convey to the important character of this play so the vicar i'm already convey the vicar is the protagonist name what is the real name of vicar dr primrose is a uh, real name of vicar so in this play we should call it we should call only for the the vicar the vicar but real name is dr primrose he is very intelligent person he is working in agriculture uh, he love his family and next character deborah the um, the vicar's wife deborah primrose is very smart very intelligent very independent girl he love cooking um, educated person our next character george is the vicar elder son uh, he studied in oxford university um, very young man our next character is olivia the olivia is the eldest daughter um, really uh, really beautiful girl he love herself uh, he also love another person uh, next character Sophia. Sophia is totally different, different characters. Actually, uh, Olivia, um, Olivia fashionable girl and Sophia very silent girl. Uh, Sophia is a Vika second, second eldest daughter. Uh, really very silent and simple girl. And next character Moses, the Vika second eldest son. Dick, Dick is a Vika's, uh, Vika's son. Bill is a Vika's son. And just to convey to the antagonist of this play. So. Uh, Every 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 novels have have a protagonist and antagonist. Already I convey the protagonist name, the Vicar. The real name, the Doctor Primrose. Um, and the antagonist name is uh, is totally different different character because he is very selfish person. Uh, Squire Thornhill is the main villain of this play. Very selfish person. And next character William Thornhill. Uh, actually, he is uh, he is a man of broken fortune. Really, he is very broken of his fortune. fortune. Uh, is that loss? No, Sir William Thornhill is disguised. Actually, the William Thornhill is a real name. Then after he uh, he is a disguised to the Mr. Bursal character. So. 
is really wonderful and uh, next uh, next we will convey to the real uh, as a protagonist he meets so many struggle in our day to day life so that is very important it is also one of the sentimental novel as a decent man the decent man is all always convey to the the vicar as a decent man he meets so many struggle in our life yes of course he first uh, his lifestyle is totally different then after he moves in the into poverty the kind of troubles in our family that is recreated in come some happiness and everybody life and his family then finds his own happiness so sentimental novel uh, is totally different because so many uh, so many uh, so many emotions so many happy uh, so many sad uh, what is what is uh, what is the real essence of life that is also conveyed to the real essence actually as a protagonist uh, lifestyle uh, is totally different because uh, they are meet so many struggle already a convey for that once an engagement is totally failure and broke down the another girl uh, suitable unsuitable boy, boy in lifestyle so that is very important why did no why and just convey to the it's very important because as a protagonist uh, family meets some struggle so that is convey to the uh, convey to the the real life and next finally convey to the everybody rule uh, by sentimental everybody rule of emotions everybody rule of crying uh, if yes of course sentimental is really really wonderful humor in our life but that is balance is very important so goldsmith taps into the traditional and balanced sentimental with their reason however goldsmith does not allow to the sentimental to degrade into some uh, sentimentality and balance it with some reason so oh, is really wonderful sentimental novel thank you thank you for giving this wonderful opportunity